guys welcome or welcome back again to my channel i hope you all are doing perfectly fine yes today we're making authentic ghanaian street style wachi recipe and i prepared this wachi for 10 people and trust me the feedback afterwards was just lovely if you are thinking of making a mini party at home then this recipe it's a must try so now without wasting my time let's dive right into it to begin with this watching recipe i will start by cooking my beans half clean and remove any unwanted particles that i don't need in the beans from it i'll also go in with my sugum leaves or watch it yes i've cleaned the leaves as well if you really want to enjoy your watch it very well then cleaning your leaves very well is very very important because it sometimes comes with sand and you might not love it at all i'll go in with more water to cook the beans and you also need to be checking the beans from time to time because we are not cooking the beans for it to cook for about 100 percent we are cooking it for 70 to 80 percent and it should be okay i also realized the water on the beans is not enough to cook it so i will go in with just a little bit of water to cook the beans all right i'll cover and allow it to cook until it softens a little bit but before that i'll also go in with some salt to taste the salt is always to your taste cover it and allow it to cook until it's nice and ready while that is going on let me also use this opportunity to thank you all my returning subscribers and new foodie members right here you guys are amazing thank you for always liking my video sharing and commenting on my videos fam i am very grateful if you haven't so subscribed yet please do want to subscribe as well turn on the post notification bell and be part of this beautiful family thank you so much for doing that all right so after cooking the beans for extra 30 minutes as you can see the beans have softened very very well and that is what i am looking for and i also love that red color on the beans due to the sorghum leaves this is without baking soda so please kindly note it all right and after it is ready i'll go in with my rice i'm using perfume rice you can also use any local rice or any perfume rice of your choice don't worry i'm going to be listing the quantity and everything i use in the description box for you to check it out i'll give it a good mix at this point you can still taste for salt if the salt is not enough for you you can go in with more salt to your taste all right and for this watch recipe i really want the outcome to single out or the greens to single out so i'll go in with some cooking oil and less water and i'll be using parchment paper to help me cook the rice until it's nice and soft if you really want soft or watcha atta mm -hmm. my lovely ghanian people knows what i'm talking about i love that one too but not too 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 soft yes and so i'm glad um those people i'm sharing this food with they don't love the soft one as well so i won't be going in with a lot of water so you just have to do it just the way you want it all right so after about 10 to 15 minutes this is how the rice looks like you need to stir it watch it is more like jello fries it will cause a little bit of stirring and attention so after about 10 to 15 minutes of cooking it you give it a good mix cover it with some parchment paper or any napkin to help retain the heat inside so that the rice will cook very fast all right so now let's cover it and be sure to check your rice also from time to time so this is after extra 10 to 15 minutes of cooking it on low medium heat it is doing all good at this point i don't need the sorghum leaves again so i need to take it out you can allow it to be inside until the rice is ready but it sometimes makes the stirring difficult and i don't want to stress myself at all <laughs> since i'm cooking in bulk yes stress-free life is the best so that's all just by the way so this is how it looks like after extra 10 to 15 minutes as you can see the rice is in shape 
it is almost done <laughs> so i'll give it a good mix cover it on low medium heat and allow it to cook until it softens very very well or it softens to your liking all right And at this point, our watch is ready. Yay! <laughs> food is ready. And as you can see, when food gets ready like this, then now holding be able to show Yes, then you get more strength to enjoy the food. <laughs> yes, so now all that is left is for us to serve ourselves and enjoy. And so I paired this with some homemade Hausa watches stew or zongo stew recipe which i'll be sharing the recipe with you very very soon but before i share the recipe with you kindly let me know your thoughts about this watchy recipe in the comment section and i will be waiting for you in the comment section to read all your beautiful comment down below thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you enjoyed to this point that means you are always a proud foodie member do well to subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification bell as well so that anytime i upload a new video on this channel you'll be among the first person to be notified thank you so much and god bless you all bye